As soon as I spawn in, I enable death mode and immediately dig my own coffin. I sat down and thought for a second about what my next move should be. I gather a little bit of wood, and I begin mining for ores. I then find myself head to head with a gang of slimes and I'm quickly sent home. After this quick incident, I head right back into the mines, avoiding every single open area I see. I then on my own will decide that I'm done mining for today, and I want to head back home. I'm then swiftly reminded that this is not a normal playthrough. After dying through what felt like hours, I'm in a shelter, and I hid there all night. When morning hits, I try to make any sort of progress by making a platform. But then I am quickly reminded that I won't be making any progress anytime soon. This will be a common theme for the playthrough. After this, I made the genius decision to become a summoner. Which doesn't last very long, as summoner is off before hard work. After this, I decide I want to go mining again, which lasts for two and a half seconds before I'm swiftly brought back home. I decided that, you know, maybe this was a sign, so I made some NPC housing. As Calamity had some great NPCs that would make this playthrough a lot easier. I make the housing and I'm thinking to myself, who would arrive first? Would it be someone not very good, like the guide? Maybe someone who would help us make progress, like the merchant, or even maybe the lumberjack. As I sit thinking, the first NPC arrives. Green Slime. Yeah, so this mod breaks NPC spawns for some reason. So the solution I make later on is just to disable it, go AFK away from my NPCs to spawn in, and then I re-enable it. After this, I began digging a tunnel so I can find the desert. As the desert scourges boss, I need to kill him. And he can only be fought, you know, in the desert. And then I make more NPC housing. And then finally get some NPCs. The most important ones being the lumberjack and architects. Both of which sell me wood and some other blocks I might need for building, seeing as I can't step outside my home. After the NPCs moved in, I expanded my home. After I'm done with this, I wanted to go on a mining trip, and let's just say it didn't quite go as planned. bit of progression was made. I made a hook. This took one and a half hours of gameplay. After a tiny bit more mining, I 
I start to work on a sky bridge. This is until slime starts to fall out of the sky. After I die from the slime, it's basically impossible to get back onto the sky bridge for now. So I go higher up and I find some planets. From these planets I got... Flower boots. I go to the other side and I find that to my left is corruption. After this I try to make a bridge to my left, but uh, I get mauled by demon eyes because god forbid I make any kind of progress in this world. After this I start to farm for the resources to make a elevator. After placing the elevator, I gather all the loot and life crystals I find from the caves. Some more tunneling later and I found the desert. Finally, some good news. Cause now when I get the arms dealer NPC, I can make pylons. And these will be vital because most of my screen usually looks like this. Having pylons would make it very easy to travel without getting slaughtered by enemies. After finding the desert, I grab the materials needed to make the desert medallion, which is the desert scourge's summon. But in order to craft it, I needed a demon altar, and this would prove to be no easy task. Now that I've made it, I'm ready to make the arena, the only problem being the thousands of enemies on my screen. I get to the surface, but I'm instantly sent back home. Once home, I'm forced to face reality. The reality being I'm at 240 life, and I have no healing potions or vertical mobility. So I would go back in the mines again, and I find a cloud in a bottle, and more life crystals. I return to the surface with a nice and respectable 320 health. I then started to try to find a cloud, but then I quickly get attacked by a flock of harpies. So I'm forced to go back home. But, I feel like I'm ready for the desert scourge, so here's my plan. I'm just gonna be using grenades. I go back to the desert to spawn the boss, but he won't spawn. So yeah, I can't fight the bosses with the uh, 300 times enemies mod either. After this setback, I go back to the desert and I get absolutely destroyed by the desert scourge. Again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again. This boss is just awful to fight with no vertical movement, but I soon found a way to fix that. Gravitational potions. After a couple more deaths, a goblin army, and me changing to the ranger class, I gave up and I fought the Av Cthulhu first. Now that I had the Shield of Cthulhu, I figured surely I could beat the Desert Scourge now. And after a few more tries, I got this attempt.
With the Desert Scourge defeated, there's only one boss that's still in my sight, King Slime. So I head to the mines to find rubies. I make the summon, and then after getting absolutely demolished by him on attempt one, I'm ready to go. With the first three bosses of the game defeated, this is where I decided to call it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and tune in for the next part in the series.